Hey what's up guys it's Baru here from Android.com and the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are now receiving the official Android Oreo update. If you still haven't received the update in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can manually install the update onto your device. I have actually made a similar video to this last year with the Galaxy S7 Edge and how to install the Android Nougat update. And since a lot of you guys actually requested for the S8 with Oreo update, I'm going to be making this video. Definitely go ahead and share this video if you find it useful and hit that like button and subscribe to me right here on YouTube in case if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. Alright, so I have the Galaxy S8 Plus, specifically the G955FD dual SIM variant. The very first thing you need to do is you need to find out your model number. So for that you need to go into settings, about phone, software information and from here you can find out the model number. Also while you are there, just go ahead and tap on the build number 7 times and then you need to go back. And then once you're in the main settings menu, just go to develop options and make sure that OEM unlock is enabled. This is quite essential, so definitely make sure that it's enabled. Before you get started though, make sure that your device has at least 50% charge. If not, charge your device and get started. Once that is done, you need to download the firmware for your device. So for this, the best source is Sam Mobile. So I will have the link for that down below in the description. You need to go to sammobile.com slash firmwares. Once you are there, you need to search for your device model number. Once you search for that, you will get a list of firmwares available for your device from different regions in different versions. So you can go ahead and pick any firmware from this list. It doesn't matter what country you choose as long as the model number is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the firmware version for India because that's the closest country to where I live here in Sri Lanka. Next from the firmware page, make sure that this is exactly what you want. Make sure that the Android version is correct and again make sure that your model number is correct. Once that is done, go ahead and press on wait and download. So in order to download from Sam Mobile, you need to have an account registered with Sam Mobile. So go ahead and register. It's free. So definitely go ahead and create an account if you don't have or log in if you have an account. And once that is done, you just have to wait for 30 seconds and the file will automatically start downloading just like this. Now, depending on your internet speed, the file will get downloaded. Give it some time and let the file get downloaded. And once it's done, you can continue with the tutorial. Along with the firmware file, you also need to download the latest version of Odin version 3.13. So I will have a link for that down below in the description. So definitely go ahead and download that as well. Remember that you need to use a Windows computer for this. So transfer the downloaded files into a Windows computer. Next what you need to do is just go ahead and unzip these two files. First you need to unzip the Odin file and next you need to unzip the firmware file. While the firmware is actually getting unzipped, you need to take your device and power it off. But before you power it off, make sure that you have completely backed up your device. Sometimes your data might get lost, so make sure that you back up your device before you get started. Now go ahead and power off your device and after that you need to hold the power button, the volume down button as well as the Bixby button and press and hold all three of those at the same time for about 10 seconds and it will load into the download mode. Once you see this warning screen with the blue background, just let go of the keys and now you need to go ahead and press on the volume up button. Once that is done, now you are ready to flash the firmware onto your device. Now going back into the computer, you need to open the Odin file that we actually extracted. So right click and run as administrator and the latest version of Odin will start up. Now you need to connect your device to the PC and for that make sure that you use the original USB cable that came with your device. Once you connect your device through the USB-C port, the IDCOM tab will turn blue and that is how you will know that the device has been recognized by Odin. Once your device has been recognized, you need to select the files individually. First you need to select the BL button 
and then you need to go and select that firmware file that we actually downloaded there will be five files in there so go ahead and select the appropriate file for this you need to actually select four first you select the bl then you select the ap just be patient when you select the ap it is the biggest file so it takes some time to actually load odin will actually say that it's not responding just ignore the warnings and just wait a few minutes it will actually start responding again next you need to select the cp and finally you need to select the csc when you are selecting the csc there are two versions the home csc as well as the regular csc if you select the home csc all your data will be protected but if you select the regular csc your device will be formatted so you can pick whatever you want once you have selected all the firmwares double check that everything is correct once everything is ready make sure that repartition is not selected under options go back to the log and go ahead and press on start now let the firmware get flashed this process will roughly take 5 to 10 minutes so don't interrupt this Finally when Odin says reset and once your device actually reboots this is when you can remove the USB cable now the device will process the firmware and reboot into Android Oreo during the reboot it will say Android is upgrading and it will optimize all the applications and I have selected the home CSC version so all of my applications and data will be there so that's that After a while your device will be ready so now you can go into about phone and check out the latest Android 8.0 Oreo running on your device. You need to go into software information and you can see that your device is now running Android Oreo. You, you can actually go ahead and press on the Oreo icon a few times to reveal the Android Oreo Easter egg as well. The Android Oreo update brings Samsung Experience 9 to the Galaxy S8 Plus. And this brings some new improvements like the updated emojis as well as some awesome features from the Galaxy Note 8 like the App Twin which I have already made a video about. So if you are actually interested in knowing what that is definitely go ahead and check out my channel for that video. The new firmware also brings in the February security patches for the Galaxy S8 Plus. So if everything goes well now you are running the latest Android 8.0 Oreo. Definitely go ahead and smash that like button and share this video with anyone who has a Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. You can actually follow this procedure for any other Samsung device as well but make sure that you use the appropriate firmware for your device. Finally to answer one last question that I tend to get a lot in these type of tutorials. Yes you will be getting OTA updates if you follow this tutorial. So don't worry all your updates in the future will be coming right into your device. Well guys that's about it for this video I hope you guys found it useful if you did definitely go ahead and smash that like button and share this video with your friends as well. Definitely follow me on social media I am at Android all the links are given down below in the description and stay tuned to Android.com for all the latest from the tech world. Definitely drop a comment down below with your experience and if you have any other questions as well definitely drop a comment and I will definitely help you out. Well guys, that's about it for this video. Until I talk to you guys in my next video, this is Banu, signing out.